Good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, I it's getting it was getting late, and uh, I couldn't finish all the lectures uh, yesterday. So now it's early morning, and uh, I'm gonna finish one or two videos about uh, flash attributes. Then I have to go back to lecture. Okay. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about flash attributes in Spring MVC. Okay, so what is the flash attributes and uh, when you're gonna use them? Um, most of the time, flash attribute is designed when using PRG pattern, which means if in a controller, okay, like yesterday the demo we talked about, like an older controller, in the older controller, and you have a post method, post mapping method for save the order. Like a post mapping method called save the order. Okay. And on the GSP page, when uh, click the save button, it's going to place an order. Uh, save order. And uh, suppose the page without using PRG pattern, the page you return is a thank you page, right? And in the thank you page, you can grab in the thank you dot, thank you dot GSP page, then you can grab the information about like a order ID, yes, like one, two, three, four, and order like the other order details, okay? Like dates, all the things. Um, in the post, when you put the order here, the spring will do first thing is data binding, right? Data binding for you. And the second thing, actually, this order is inside where? Inside model as an attribute. And by default, model is in the request scope. So if in the GSP page you're using dollar sign order dot ID, you can retrieve the values of the order ID. But now if here, okay, you change it, we have another get mapping method called uh, uh, success. Okay, and then here you have a public string success. And then you return thank you here, which is a GSP. And you change your post mapping method, change this one to uh, which, which place is better to vote. You change, let me change another color, okay? Change. You change this piece to using redirect, okay? Return. Redirect slash success. And as we know, when we using redirect, it's gonna browse, gonna make another new request. So the order in this request scope are not going to be retrieved in the thank you because it's a new brand new request. So in this case, you can using flash attributes. Okay, flash attributes is designed to use with PRG pattern. P, redirect, and G, PRG pattern. Post, redirect, and get pattern. What that means is if you have a redirect attributes here, okay, R, and then inside this body, what you wrote is R dot send. Uh, sorry, add flash attributes. 
rush attribute O. And the key gonna be the type of the O. The type of the O is the order. Okay, so the key to retrieve this attribute is using key order. The first letter of the class name is a lowercase. Okay, this is the key to retrieve this order inside the, the um, flash attribute. Okay, and what is the flash attribute? Okay, what is the flash attribute? Flash attribute will put first thing, it will be in session scope. It will be in the session scope temporary. And then gonna be remove from session scope after the page rendered. What that means? First, if you add the flash attribute all here, it's gonna put it in the session scope. And after you re redirect, go to the success fit, success uh, this uh, get method. Uh, and then after this uh, thank you page is rendered, the spring will remove this flash attribute order from the session. So the flash attributes is kind of a temporary, just before just exist after you add before and after the page is rendering so once you once you um already visit the thank you page and you re -ren re reload the browser the session the flash attributes doesn't exist okay so sorry let me refresh again so the old attribute will be put in a session when you add a flash attribute, okay, this order. And then after this redirected the page, okay, thank you, GSP, is rendered. Then it's going to be removed from session scope. Spring will automatically do that. So what that mean is in the browser, the first time you see the thank you page, you will see this order. Uh, information but if you reload the page then you can just see the older information okay only the first time and uh, in my next video i'm gonna show you the code uh, step by step uh, thank you and uh, hope you have a good day